Let's get ready for another makeup review. There's been a lot of new makeup releases and I'm just trying to help the girlies out. So let's test out this new Fenty Hydrating Concealer. When it comes to new makeup reviews, I like to keep everything the same that I would usually do. The only thing that I change is the new product that I'm using. So let me just do my base really quick and then we're gonna try out this concealer. Foundation is on, so now let's try out this concealer. I got this in the color 370N. Usually I go for a golden undertone, but me and the gentleman that we're working in there thought the golden was just like way too golden and the neutral just like gave me like a pretty good finish. So I decided to go with a 370 and Funny enough, I went to Ulta today and they didn't even have these out yet. So the guy went to the back and he pulled them out for me and we were figuring out which color for me to get. None of them had been used because they hadn't even put out the testers yet. So like, he's like, you can put them on your eyes. So I did because they're fresh out of the package. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. It definitely is neutral, but like my makeup always ends up being so golden that having neutral actually might work out really well for me. I'm trying out this little CBD drink today because my anxiety has been on tan. And like, so far I'm like halfway through the can and I actually feel like at ease right now. If you're an anxious girl like myself, this may help you calm down, but We'll see how I feel by the end of the scan. I'm gonna go sponge on one side, brush on the other side, brush all throughout. Honesty hour, I did not like, ooh, this is like a lot thicker than the original Fenty one. I don't like that concealer. I feel like when I blend it out, it just goes away. And this is like the complete opposite. Wait a minute. This is nice. This has like a lot of coverage. I decided not to color correct as well because I wanted to see what the coverage was on this concealer. If you compare it to the beginning of the video, I feel like it actually covered up my dark circles pretty well. Let's blend out this side with a brush. Obviously using a brush regardless, it's just gonna give you more full coverage, but I'm just curious as to how each side blends out. Now that I like blend this out, I'm definitely like impressed by like the coverage, how it feels. It just feels, it feels, I feel like it feels hydrating. Like it doesn't, feel like it's like taking away from my face at all. It feels like it's just like adding to my face. So this is what it looks like fully blended out, brush on this side, sponge on this side. It does feel very hydrating and I feel like it has a lot better coverage than the original concealer. I'm gonna go through and set the rest of my face and then I'm gonna check back in when everything is finished. So this is what my face is looking like. I'd say I'm impressed. Where I'm at currently with buying new makeup is if it's already like something that I already have, then I don't feel like I really need it. If it's giving me shock and awe, then I'm like, all right, I think I gotta keep it. I'm gonna keep trying this out, but I will say after one use right now, seven out of 10 would definitely recommend. I would like a little bit of a brighter on your eye, but this just feels really good on the skin. So I think this is a keeper.